I'm Dr. Karen Hauer from Owl Creek Veterinary Hospital, and we're going to talk to you today about smoke inhalation in dogs and cats and how you can help them with oxygen to uh, get over it. So some signs you might see in a, in a pet that has smoke inhalation damage would be any signs of burns or singed hair. A lot of times their whiskers will be singed off, so that's an easy place to look. Um, and also they, they tend to have breathing problems. They're breathing really fast or increased effort with their, especially with their abdominal muscles. And in cats, if you see a cat that is open mouth breathing or panting, that's a, a good sign that that cat is having trouble breathing and would definitely need some oxygen. Um, you can also look for nasal discharge or discharge from the eyes or cuts or ulcers on the eyes that would say they had a burn and then most likely they have smoke inhalation. Um, they also, you can look at their gums and if they have carbon monoxide poisoning, the gums will be a real bright, bright red. Um, you know, if they're weak, sometimes they'll be real shocky. Um, and sometimes, unfortunately, you may find them in cardiac or respiratory arrest. So, But those are all things to look for uh, and may aid you in determining to give them supplemental oxygen. Okay, this is our veterinary assistant, Tammy, and this is her dog, Haley, and we're going to show you how easy it is to deliver supplemental oxygen to a dog. Um, these are different uh, oxygen face masks that we use for animals. They come in a variety of sizes. Mostly you're probably just going to use the big size or maybe the smaller one for a cat or a small dog. And um, this is the adult bag valve mask that you guys already have. And all of these masks fit right on here real easily. And um, you just run the oxygen. You only need to run it about six liters at the most um, for the animals. And then to hook everything up, um, you can just put this on here first, and then you just slide the face mask over the dog, and just hold it there, just like that, and that's really all there is to it. Um, if the animal is very stressed, or resisting this, or fighting you putting this on their face, then, then you don't want to do it. Um, risking them being stressed and everything is a greater risk than, than the smoke inhalation problem, so that would be a time to stop. But as you can see, Haley, she's actually falling asleep here while we're doing this, so she doesn't mind it at all. Most dogs are very cooperative with this sort of thing. So we're going to demonstrate with our hospital cat named Magic here on how you can do this for a cat. It's probably helpful to wrap them in a blanket or a towel just to get, get their feet kind of still and secure them. Um, so for a cat, really the same thing. You just stick it right over their face. Um, if it's a smaller head or, or they're real calm, you can actually stick their entire head in the mask, um, but I don't think magic will fit. So, but same thing, you just hold it right on here. Um, cats do tend to be a little more stressed, a little more skittish than dogs, so if the cat is in any way stressed about this, you don't want to do it. Um, but, you know, you may get a real sweet, just lazy cat, and, um, you know, that's real sick too, they may let you do it. So, it's definitely worth a try, and um, it's, it's real easy, kind of the same thing. You can run the oxygen again at six liters, it doesn't really make a difference. Um, so that's a cat. Uh, here at Owl Creek, we've heard that uh, the Virginia Beach Fire Department wants to equip uh, the area with face masks like this for the animals, and we think it's a great idea. It's a really low-cost way that you can you know, possibly save an animal's life and at least um, definitely benefit them in, in their recovery time by giving them some oxygen. So um, like I said, it's very low cost. You just need a couple of masks, and you guys already have this set up. So uh, we think it's a great idea. So we've all learned from Hurricane Katrina that uh, people's pets are very important to them and they want to have the best care possible, you know, whatever happens. So this is a wonderful way to really help take care of, of our pets in a situation, emergency situation like this. Um, it's very uh, inexpensive to uh, equip yourself with these masks and uh, deliver oxygen to an animal that could potentially save its life and definitely increase its recovery time. Um, we think it's a great idea. and. Um, Looking forward to having you know this process in place in Virginia Beach.